that's what common fire hazards in our homes. And that's what we're gonna do today, right here, in the most dangerous house in America, where we are currently surrounded by over 300 common fire hazards. But don't panic, sir, it's just a game, we're, we're okay. Now, in this game, we are going to have two teams. Searching on this half of the house, we're gonna call you the Search Wells. Let's hear it, Search Wells! All right, that's not too bad. Over here on this half of the house, you'll be known as the Fine Moors. Make some noise, Fine Moors! All right, we'll give you guys another shot at that. Now, the object of the game is to see which team, either the Search Wells or the Fine Moors, can find and then correct the most fire hazards in five minutes. And how do you search for these hazards? But you're going to use these little handy dandy little safety lights. You're going to shine them up at various objects in the room. And as you can see, it's going to give you a brief description of the object plus an x ray view of it. You can even see inside the cabinet. It's pretty cool, huh? But what about that pink curling iron that's plugged in and sitting on a magazine? Does that look like a fire hazard to anybody? It does to me too. And this is the way you're going to score points. Now, you have to convince everyone that's searching in the room with you to shine their light on the hazard at the same time. Now, when Charles' light comes to mind, then we push the black button on our lights and staff, we have made our house safer, plus we've scored some points. But be careful, because not everything in this room is a hazard. Now, see, we found bathroom supplies. Those are not a hazard. If we zap those, we're going to lose points. So, zap smart, but don't take too long, because as you can see, those real hazards are going to start to smolder and catch on fire. And when they do that, it's too late. You can't put them out. You just need to look for something else. Now, when you have found all of the hazards in the room that you are searching, you will see a screen like this with a big yellow arrow that will tell you which room to go to next. So when you see the yellow arrow, you go quickly but safely to whatever room it sends you to and start searching that one. Now, the team that finds and fixes the most hazards in five minutes will win. Search Wells, you have this half of the house. Find Mortars, you have this half of the house. Now, each half of our house is divided into the same six color-coded rooms. We have a purple home office. We have a gray garage, green kids' bedrooms, blue bathrooms, red living rooms, and yellow kitchens, which are up front behind you. Now, whichever color you are standing on on the floor right now is the color of the room that you will start in. So if you are on the gray oval, you come up and get your lights first, and then you're going to head back to the garage. So you can go right on back there. And you on the green ovals, you come get your lights and you're gonna to go to the green kid's bedroom. And you probably just wanna take two and knock the little one. Yeah, all right. All right, now stand about two to three feet away from the screen of your room. Remember, this is a team effort. You need to shine all your lights on the hazard at the same time. Watch out for bonus and speed rounds. If you get one of those, you stay in the room and search it again. The team that gets the most in five minutes wins. Is everybody ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. You have five minutes. Go save my house. Separating the two teams, that's all. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. 
right there, that's it. Get the towel. Now the towel up top there. Towel up top. Yeah. Over there. If you have a working smoke alarm in your home, it more than doubles your chance of surviving a fire. So make sure you have them installed properly. Now, were you all in the kitchen at one time? Yeah, did you see all the hazards in the kitchen? Man, that's our most dangerous room. More fires start in kitchens than any other room in the house. And the most common cause is unattended cooking. So of course you know what that means, right? Watch what you eat. I know, bad joke. Oh well. Now that you've learned how to save your, uh, your house from a fire, you can also learn to save yourselves from a fire at our Play It Safe Challenge. And we also have a firefighter's photo kiosk where you can take your picture and then email it to yourself and your family and friends. But you want to know who won the game, right? Yeah. All right. Well, this was a very close game, and both teams were in the lead at one point or another. But here at the end, with a score of 7,000 points, let's hear it for the fine boy. Second place score today because our winners were the search wells. So, congratulations to both teams. You all did a great job. Now, thank you so much from the folks at Liberty Mutual Insurance who are helping people live safer, more secure lives. Now, kids, this is the most important thing I have to tell you today. So, everybody, listen to this, please. If you are ever in a burning building, remember two things. Number one, get out. And number two, stay out. Never, ever go inside a burning building. Can we say that together? Get out. Stay out. Well, you know, we've had some things burning in here, so let's practice that. Everybody out. Our exits are at the back. Thank you so much for playing. Have a